Greg Pitta has been coming to work at this General Electric lighting plant since he was 23 years old. But this well-driven route is now just a memory. I mean, everybody's in there saying, I mean, you know, one day you got a job, next day you don't. I mean, if your future, there's your future. The future's gone. Close to 200 people lost their jobs in September when GE closed its incandescent light bulb plant in the state of Virginia. When the time comes, it still hurts the same amount. The closing of this plant reflects a change in the industry that started with a law passed in 2007 that will require all Americans to use more efficient light bulbs by 2014. The incandescent bulbs is, is reaching the end, okay, and is on the way out. Ellis Yen heads U.S.-based technical consumer products known as TCP. This is shaped into tubes and cut into... As shown in this promotional video, TCP makes compact fluorescent light bulbs, or CFLs, which are more energy efficient. Even though 80% of his bulbs end up in the United States, Yen makes all of his CFL bulbs in China, where labor is much cheaper. You're talking about a 40 to 50 cents difference. Okay, 45 to 50 cents difference between the bulb made in USA and the bulb made in China. Yen says CFLs are more expensive to make than incandescent light bulbs. It is a more labor-intensive process, with each bulb being handmade by skilled glass blowers. GE says it considered turning its incandescent plant into one that makes CFLs, but it was just too expensive, leaving plant worker Patrick Doyle without a job. It's frustrating, and it does kind of anger me that jobs are going out of the country. But Americans are not the only ones losing their jobs. Yen plans to reduce his workforce in China from 14,000 people to 5,000 by the end of the year by installing new high-tech machines to mass-produce the CFLs more efficiently. Yen also says he wants to open a plant in the U.S. to make CFLs despite the higher labor cost. I believe people are willing to uh, buy it you know, willing to pay the extra because it's made in USA. To prove his point, Yen says he plans on hiring 350 workers and opening his U.S. plant within the next 18 months. And even though GE is cutting jobs at its Virginia plant, it is expanding its production plant in Ohio, which makes linear fluorescent lights. The plant is expected to hire more than 130 workers over the next few years, doubling its workforce. Elizabeth Lee, VOA News.